much, but it always seems there's some hysteria going on about um, the protocol, what it means for Emirates Team New Zealand, what does that mean to the public. And we just, I, we just want to go through some of that and, and kind of put it to bed. Some of the rhetoric that's, that's come out about two boat versus one boat is just not right. So there's nothing particularly at this point in the protocol which scares us off. It, it's kind of stacked the deck, I think public opinion wise, but it isn't that bad. I mean, these guys are not doing us any favours, huh? I mean, let's not you know, be realistic about that. It's the America's Cup, but it isn't that bad. And I think really the, the kind of bite of that is that in 2010, when the last one came out, we'd never, we didn't have a design team at that point for catamarans. We had no experience in catamarans. They just won the cup in a multi-hull with a wing. So we don't see it anything like as stacked in that respect um, as it was last time because we had to learn from absolute scratch. We'd never even seen a wing. The other thing that's quite as significant is we have, we're in the best shape ever, certainly in my time here and maybe ever, uh, with sponsors. Uh, we have a situation where given the right circumstances in terms of venues, we will fund the team. Uh, we can go forward. Uh, we've approached the government for funding. The government said to us, go away and line up, uh, line up your money and see how you go. So we have subsequently been away and a combination of sponsor money and uh, private money uh, gets us to a point that we, that we have now fulfilled and more than fulfilled what we, the government expected us to be able to put in the, uh, in the tin and it's now back from our point of view on the government to see what they're prepared to do. One of the things you, we've found is, is Minister Joyce and the Prime Minister are well versed in this. What the protocol says, what it means, what the mood of the country is uh, and the fact that there's a, a not only an AC45 uh, ability but also a qualifying venue for all the team's ability. You wouldn't have to start adding up the numbers pretty quickly to make that turn into quite a, a successful windfall. That'd be great if it came here. Inventing your own cup won't work. This is the America's Cup. This is the oldest sporting trophy in the world. This, this, this happened before the Civil War. Peter, Peter Montgomery was there. This is the America's Cup. This has got history. This country has stooped in America's Cup since we all sat on our black and white TVs in, when I was colour then in 1983 and watched Australia 2 beat Liberty in Newport. Christ, I watched it. You cannot replace it. Yeah, I, probably you're right. Yeah, it's probably well, more winnable than last time. I think we've got a much harder road through this time in terms of the challenges, in fact, no doubt of that. But no different than 2007. And we're stronger than we've ever been. We're operational, we're, we're sound. We have a protocol that with the amendments as they come through and the team and the shape that it's in, uh, we think we're just fine.